How many positive integers of less than one and one are multiples of five or seven, but not both at once? Now, first we'll count how many total multiples of five and seven are there less than one and one. We'll start with the fives. The total multiples of five. Well, we can count that by just dividing. One to one into five, and we can clearly see that five goes into one to one twenty times. Divide, multiply that by twenty. We have remainder one. So all this basically means that we can fit in twenty of these multiples of five, or twenty of these blocks of five in one to one before we can run out of space for one more, and then we just and then we just have to use that like single block of One, so that means there's 20 total multiples of five, but according to to our rule, but not both at once. We can't have that. So we can see that there, there are two special multiples of five, 35 and 70, but those are multiples of some, so we can't count that. So that means there's 20 minus two, 18 good multiples of five. I'm going to go ahead. Box that in so we don't look at twenty. And now the multiples of seven. Multiples of seven. And now we we'll do this with long division too. We can just easily divide one o one and a seven. Seven goes into Ten once, subtract seven, half three, drop down to one, and seven goes into thirty-one four times, which will give us a remainder of three. Now all that means is we can basically fit in fourteen of these little blocks of seven in one or one before we run out of space for another block of seven, and then we just have to use a block of three. So that means there's fourteen total multiples of seven, and well. Again, according to our rule, there's again two special multiples of seven, thirty-five and seventy. <laughs> that means they're both multiples of five. We can't have that. So that means we just have fourteen minus two only. Twelve good multiples of seven. Go ahead, box that in, and now we see finally, since we didn't count anything. More than once, and we did that, but not both thing. We can just add these two, and when we do add those, we get three.